I was born and raised in Akron, Ohio, and at the age of 17, almost 70 years ago, I left to go to Boston, and after completing a degree in mechanical engineering at MIT, I then went to Harvard Medical School, and then to the Massachusetts General Hospital, and I never left. But in spite of that, I probably have more friends in Akron than anywhere else. So to see something good happen to the University of Akron gives us great joy. These gifts are never done with just one purpose in mind. In the first place, the University of Akron is beginning a, uh, a new era. And so it was important for us with the, with the advent of a new president, um, things are changing at the university and we wanted to signal our continuing and very strong support uh, for the university as it embarks uh, on this, uh, this new time. The gift that we have received from the Knight Foundation to support polymer science research is just an amazing contribution. It really is a commitment that we're seeing from the Knight Foundation to the excellence here at the University of Akron. Uh, we wanted to pick one of the places where the university's excellence, where the university's reputation, uh, and where the university's expertise is unquestioned and certainly uh, polymers is, uh, is one of those. Polymers at the University of Akron has been going for, uh, for a long time, grew up with Akron. And so I think that it's, it's really fitting that uh, uh, Dr. Austin's um, legacy be with the uh, college, with um, polymers, and with uh, biomedical materials. And of course, uh, the selection of Matt Becker as the uh, recipient is, uh, is, is very fitting too because Matt has uh, advanced those areas and he continues to make a, a huge difference for the university in, in the areas of biomedical materials. Here's a man who uh, has national standing um, and yet is somebody who focuses on teaching as well as research. This is, this is the hallmark of Jerry Austin. I feel very strongly about endowed shares because endowed shares allows the incumbent extra time to think, to innovate, and to act on these ideas and, and bring them to fruition. And I'm thrilled that Dr. Becker, who is a superb scientist, innovator, and educator, has the opportunity to be the first incumbent. Well, one, it's exciting to be recognized. You know, if you, there's only other two other holders of an Austin professorship uh, in the United States, and they're both chief of surgery at Harvard Medical School. So I think that in itself is significant. It's a name that's recognized. And for the institution, I think it's really significant because I think it really shows confidence in where we're going and what we're doing and the strength of the program. Endowed professorships are really the crown jewel that allows an institution to compare itself to its peers. With an unrestricted gift, it really allows you to uh, build teams, build programs, explore new ideas, and provide the foundations for what you want to do in the future. And we're so excited to have one of our, our excellent world-class researchers and professors, Professor Matt Becker, to receive this award initially and be able to move forward and pursue his research in the future. It not only recognizes success, but it rec recognizes the excellence of Dr. Becker and what he's doing both in the lab and then also in the classroom as well. If you focus on the students, doing the right thing for the students, uh, putting as much effort as you can into them, uh, th then the rest comes out. And I look as students are my product. Uh, the patents, products, papers, all that's a sideshow. To the, if you're, and, they, and they come uh, if you're doing the job correctly. This is a great opportunity for Dr. Becker to make an impact. It, it's a great tribute to Dr. Austin and, and what he has done throughout his entire career. And it's also a, a tribute to the Knight Foundation and the support that they've provided to the University of Akron.